Decentralized finance, commonly referred to as DeFi, is an innovative financial ecosystem built on blockchain technology. Unlike traditional financial systems, DeFi operates without centralized intermediaries such as banks leveraging smart contracts on blockchain platforms like Ethereum to provide financial services. Let's delve into the key components of DeFi. First, we have smart contracts. These are self-executing contracts with the terms directly written into code. They automatically enforce and execute the terms of an agreement when predefined conditions are met, eliminating the need for uh, intermediaries. Next, decentralized applications or dApps, which are applications built on blockchain networks that use smart contracts to offer financial services, such as lending, borrowing, trading, and investing. Then, there are decentralized exchanges, or DEX, platforms like Uniswap and SushiSwap that allow users to trade cryptocurrencies directly with each other without the need for a central authority. Lastly, we have stablecoins, cryptocurrencies like DAI, or USDC that are pegged to a stable asset, typically a fiat currency like the US dollar, to minimize volatility. DeFi utilizes blockchain technology to create a transparent and secure financial system. Users interact with DeFi protocols through dApps which provide various financial services. These include lending and borrowing where platforms like Avi and Compan allow users to lend their assets to others and earn interest or borrow assets by providing collateral. In trading, DEX facilitate peer-to-peer -peer trading of cryptocurrencies without an intermediary. There's also yield farming where users can earn rewards by providing liquidity to DeFi protocols. Additionally, DeFi offers decentralized insurance services where users can insure their assets against specific risks. DeFi, or decentralized finance, offers several compelling advantages. Firstly, accessibility. DeFi is open to anyone with an internet connection effectively eliminating many of the barriers imposed by traditional financial systems. Secondly, transparency. All transactions are recorded on the blockchain, ensuring full transparency and traceability. Thirdly, reduced costs. By cutting out intermediaries, DeFi can significantly lower transaction fees and other costs typically associated with financial services. Lastly, it fosters innovation through the creation of innovative financial products and services, many of which were simply not possible in the realm of traditional finance. However, DeFi is not without its disadvantages and risks. Security vulnerabilities are a major concern as smart contracts are prone to bugs and exploits which can lead to significant financial losses. There's also regulatory uncertainty. The regulatory landscape for DeFi is still evolving and future regulations could profoundly impact the development and adoption of DeFi services. Additionally, the technical complexity of interacting with DeFi platforms can deter mainstream adoption. Finally, the inherent market volatility of the crypto market can cause significant fluctuations in asset values, posing additional risks to users. Looking to the future, DeFi holds the promise to democratize finance by providing open, transparent, and accessible financial services to everyone. As the ecosystem continues to evolve, we can anticipate advancements in security, scalability, and user experience which will make DeFi more robust and user-friendly. Moreover, integration with traditional finance, improved regulatory clarity, 
and the development of cross-chain solutions are likely to further drive the growth and acceptance of DeFi. In conclusion, decentralized finance is reshaping the financial landscape by presenting a viable alternative to traditional financial systems. While it comes with its own set of challenges and risks, the potential benefits of DeFi are substantial. As the technology matures and the ecosystem expands, DeFi could very well become a cornerstone of the global financial system, offering more inclusive and efficient financial services to a broader audience. Thank you for watching this video. I will be back soon with yet another impressive topic.